What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another experiment video on Madden 22. It is Halloween. I freaking hope it is, dude, because, uh, I mean, I'm recording this in Halloween, but I might be late and I freaking hope not. I'm gonna make sure I get, th I'm gonna do it, damn it. This thing is coming up. Not that it really matters because it's gonna be another wacky, wild, just what the hell is even the point type of video, but we took players from teams that their primary color is black and the same for orange. Now, it's going to be a little wild because obviously a lot of teams, a lot of teams run black for their uniforms. So the Bengals, they're literally just, I mean, Halloween themselves. They're literally Halloween. But I would consider the Bengals an orange team, right? When you think of the Bengals, you think of orange because you just do, right? So... Actually, they might already have more orange than black anyway. You'd have to do a, a thread by thread count. I'm not really ready to do that right now. So for the teams, the Bengals are an orange team. The Browns are an orange team. The Broncos are an orange team. And the Bears are an orange team for this video. Now, I will say, even though the Bears are an orange team, I could not pass up on the opportunity to bring Khalil Mack back to the Raiders, so I did, you know, fair enough, right, I know the Bears aren't really a black uniform, it's like dark blue, it's like navy blue, but if I were to tell or ask someone what color that is, if they never watched football before, they'd probably be like, yeah, that's probably black, right, I don't know, it's, it's my video, suck it, uh, and of course, for this team, this is the black team, obviously with the Raiders, we have the Texans, we have the Panthers, we have the Falcons, technically, and then what was the damn last team? Texans, Falcons, Panthers. Oh, yeah, Raiders. <laughs> Literally the team that we are. Who? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> you show yourself. Uh, but, of course, as you can tell, the uh, the players are all seven foot tall, just kind of like Mutt would have. It might even be like today if you play Ultimate Team. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, we're going to have these two teams face against each other. I was halfway through the rosters before I realized, what if they don't play each other? I was like, uh-oh. Because, of course, I can't technically do this in uh, exhibition because if a guy is injured, they're like, uh -huh, sorry, you can't have fun. Suck it. So you pretty much have to bring this to franchise. Hopefully you can watch in franchise. I think you can slow sim and not actually have to play, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've done a video like this. But, of course, just guessing, the, the Bengals team is probably better. However, the Bengals team does not have... A quarterback like Deshaun Watson. They have the better overall team, I believe, but when it comes to actual quarterback and playmaker being Christian McCaffrey, I don't know if they have one as good. You know, they've got some great players, obviously. Oh, they do have Chubb, but Christian McCaffrey is impossible to stop Chubb. If you stack the box, you might be able to get away with it. Uh, Baker Mayfield is going to be the starter for the Bengals, even though you can kind of argue that Joe Baker, or Joe Burrow is having a better season, but in Madden terms, I would rather have Baker because he actually has really good throw power. Running back, Nick Chubb, Mixon, and Melvin Gordon with David Montgomery. We could have done Kareem Hunt, but I don't want to just have it as the Browns running backs. Mixon is very comparable to Hunt, technically like the same overall or better. No fullback because there was none here, so I was like, they clearly don't use them. The wide receivers, I mean, kind of similar, right? I would probably give the nod over to the Raiders just for speed, but, uh, you know, some pretty good talent here, obviously, as well. Uh, Hooper, tight ends are, uh, you know, not as good as the Raiders. O-line, though, I believe, is slightly better. Left end, right end is better. DTs are, I think, better. It's very similar, actually, because Grady Jarrett has some decent abilities. Linebackers are pretty similar. Cornerbacks are a little bit worse. Safeties are miles better. So they're actually very uh, closely rated here. And for whatever reason, I decided to make the, the punters and kickers 5'5", 400 pounds. I, I don't know what's going on, to be honest. But I'm hoping this is going to be a lot of fun. I actually love Halloween. I, I mean, I, I don't like, I'm like, not like, oh, let me get some children into the cauldron. I've got bodies in my basement. I don't have any of that. But I just like the month of October. It's like the best weather here in Wisconsin. And I just like, I just like the feel. I love horror movies. I'm not a psychopath. That I can tell. Of course, I'm, I'm still rather young. I could have a psychotic break when I'm 35 or something. Who knows? But I just love it. I just absolutely love it. And uh, I was going to just not post it, and I was like, I gotta post. It's damn Halloween. I damn love it. I watched freaking 400 Halloween movies today if I have to. I don't care. Or I could just watch, like, the, the Jets play football, which is probably about the same. And uh, obviously, uh, oh, who's, wait a minute, I, um, 
Hmm, I didn't even think about that. Um, even more scary than anything. We have Deshaun Watson and John Gruden out there. I didn't even think about that. That's uh, that's something. That's something indeed. It is what it is. Let's all just forget about it. Let's all just pretend like nothing's happening out here today. Of course, Jacobs should uh, uh, get, you know, still some gains because obviously he should be the power back. But I'm surprised it's not McCaffrey that they're kind of like hyping up here. But yeah, Deshaun Watson, that's going to be the difference maker. As you can see, the Bengals do have the better overall roster. And they're technically like the team because they're their perfect representation of Halloween with their uniforms. So at the end of the day, we're hoping for the best. Half fully, hopefully having a close game here and uh, not just a complete waste of my time. It literally took me, I don't even know how long, to, to trade all the players, change them to the right positions, change their freaking numbers to the right numbers. For the most part, some numbers you know, clash, some numbers didn't matter. And then, of course, uh, change them all to you know, seven foot tall and all that. And It was a disaster, and we're, we're going to get into this thing. Like I said, I hope it does let me just watch. Like I'm pretty sure if you go, you sim... You do slow and do, like, jump forward to next quarter. Yeah, you could just do <laughs> Look at the kicker. Is that Janikowski, even though he was tall? Just looks like Janikowski out there. And, of course, seven feet of a height. Maybe could have uh, differentiated a little bit, like seven foot tall wide receivers, six foot eight corners or something. But I just want them all tall. Who gives a damn? Of course, Baker Mayfield, uh, I'm surprised he even fits in the graphic at this rate. 15 touchdowns to five picks, just under 2,000 yards through nine games played. That's, I mean, it's okay. It's not great. But I will say, since everyone is tall, they, they don't really look that much taller than normal, right? They just kind of look thicker, if anything. And to the outside, they don't look as fast, I can tell you that, as Nick Chubb gets to the 26-yard line. A lot of players would benefit from being taller, but... I don't think Nick Chubb's one of them. I think it's actually a loss for him to be uh, taller as Nick Chubb balls out hard to the 38-yard line. That was actually really good, and they are hurrying up fast. This is like zooming along. Two linebackers. Wow. These guys are in sync. How the hell are you going to beat them? Literally in sync. Oh, it's a screen pass. I thought we actually saw some pressure for once. And Deion Jones in pursuit. So far, the Bengals team is rolling, throwing, and running, and doing whatever with their running backs. As their primary totals, I really don't want to know what John Gruden just said to that guy. Of course, first and 10 for the 43-yard line, a chub in the backfield. They all look kind of weird, I'm going to be honest. The height is it's kind of doing me wrong here. I don't know why, as uh, we're going to get the stoppage second and seven from the 40-yard line. Do people actually even like the most feared promo when it's Halloween? I feel like they don't, right? It's kind of just like you like the players, but not the actual like being taller thing. As Nick Chubb trucks through to the 37-yard line, third and four. They're showing a lot of Groot in here, despite the fact that, uh, well, I mean, he's a racist. But uh, but despite the fact that, like, it's it's the Bengals you should be showing, because they're kind of rolling right now. And the linebacker, who are you talking to? Is there a safety back there? Probably is, actually. And over the middle, just no one in sight. And Sutton is not about your tackling. He does not care. Gonna be a run. No, he should have did it though. He should have ran it. And there is no pressure at all. And he takes the sack. How? I thought maybe there was a fumble there. Clellan Farrell gets the sack on Baker. And I have no idea how you get sacked with literally 10 seconds of work. But with the sack lunch, really? Is that something we're gonna say? Wow, hands of glue, literally. How? Look at that. What the hell? Second and 24 over the middle. That's a perfect throw, but it's obviously going to be knocked out. Hooper is, he's okay, but he's not that good. And what this hurry up is going crazy right now. Third and 23 from the 37 yard line. Could be a quick throw to get a field goal. And it is exactly that Julio. And that's not Julio. That is Odell. Uh, I was thinking of Julio Jones and I was like, wait a minute. He's on the Titans. He's not in this. It's Calvin Ridley on the other team. And by the other team, I mean Raiders. Because obviously the Bengals have the ball. Uh, Sean Watson. Um, scheduling another massage of course he's like no i can't do that friday is no good for me yeah i can do a saturday though all right we got that solved don't worry about it not the one on uh, 17th street though we've got some cases uh, but this should be a field goal attempt i don't think i actually did i change any of the kickers or punters i don't think i did i don't think there was one oh no we changed uh, young hoku 
and then Gillian. Yeah, the Bengals have the punter. The Raiders have the kicker. Everything else is normal. From the 35, kicking the ball deep. And is that Cordero Patterson? That is uh, Cordero Patterson. That was eh, 6 out of 10 joke. Having himself a hell of a year. 23 touchdowns to 5 picks, 2,600 yards. The real question is, will he be traded before the deadline? It's kind of pointing towards no. It kind of felt like that before this last week where there was talks about, oh, they've agreed to things, but the, the stuff needs to be settled, which is just kind of like, so you didn't agree then because that's not settled and it won't be for a while as Jacobs gets a handoff but doesn't turn it into anything. Tell me uh, CMC is in because if he's not, I'm going to have to sub him in, especially with next quarter because it said till next quarter, right? So it should be soon and Kenyon Drake barely gets that ball off really or gets the catch on that very good catch though quarter end which I mean in theory should be us being able to put Christian McCaffrey in I literally clicked B oh here's another quarter without Christian McCaffrey third and six Watson on the run and that is awful how did they not get the first there wait I can choose I mean, hey, it's your guys' play calling, not mine. I would go for this every day of the week, but that's not me. And that has got to be the thickest first down line I've ever seen. And I'm honestly kind of rock. There's a flag. Could be a late hit on the kicker, which would actually give a first down. And it is not. It is a legal block in the back. He's going to probably get a handoff here. Let's see it. And he will. A little delayed there, and he slips away. But that will be another flag. Cincinnati moving back again. Holding. Like me in the crypto market. Stupidly. First and 16 from the 6. Another handoff and why not? As There's literally no one in to look at him go. To the 35. What is that defense? Yeah, let's show Gruden again in a second. Come on, show Gruden. Oh, I'm going to send an email out. You know, like, terrible. And now they're showing the Bengals, of course. Awful defense. How? They're at their own six. You should know it's a run. I would just only run. Or pass. I guess it doesn't matter. Is The Bengals look miles better. And, I mean, you looked at it. I know they have the overall, but I actually thought when we were looking over the teams that it was kind of even, maybe even in favor of the Raiders. You know, you had Darren Waller. You had Christian McCaffrey. You have Watson. You have Gilmore. You have Mack. You have Burns, who's still really good. I mean... The Bengals probably just have better depth, really. But as far as, like, true playmakers go, Texans probably win that, right? Oh, I might have also forgotten to trade Tunsil. And that is a wide-open player. Oh, Dell Beckham scores! I mean, I suppose I kind of want the Bengals to win because, like I said, their, their colors are literally the, the entire, quote-unquote, holiday. I don't know if you want to call it a holiday. It's kind of weird to say a holiday, right? Like, when you say holiday, you have to put that with thanksgiving and like christmas and all the you know hanukkah and all the uh, other you know christmasy time or holiday festivities time so it's kind of like we're celebrating well at least at least american culture or whatever we're celebrating like murder and blood and death kind of with family thanksgiving which actually now that i think about it whoops <laughs> yeah that's just us isn't it <laughs> didn't even didn't come to me there right away but 10 to 0 the Raiders still have a chance they're at home as well they gotta put up a better performance than this Christian McCaffrey out the backfield pretty open and really good throw across his body to the left over to who the hell actually is that like who asked who actually is that everyone's a freaking superstar or better but him and oh my Watson off target there not playing enough football a little rusty maybe and, of course, the difference between these two teams is that they're not really running the ball. Obviously, they get the ball there right in time. Absolutely stopped short by a mile to the 42-yard line now. This could just be a Halloween massacre. Oh, it is Brandon Cooks. That's who it is. Which is, ironically enough, potentially the best player on the team now that he's seven foot tall. And Watson spins. This, this is your chance. Not even close. <laughs> that was his chance, dude. Watson spins into a Von Miller sack. And uh, it's going to be the two-minute warning. Bengals ball up 10, which technically, since it's on five-minute quarters, you could basically say up 30. 
<laughs> I'm gonna punt her, dude. <laughs> it's so freaking funny. And really good job. The Raiders had a chance to make a really good special teams play there, which they did, but chance to like steal the ball there. Maybe got to do a little bit better to pop that out. Baker Mayfield has had no troubles at all. Uh, there's, I mean, I can't really say the difference is, you know, Chubb's a hell of a back, but Christian McCaffrey and Madden might be better. He might be better than Madden. Because, like, throwing to the running back is very hard to stop. Like, it's it's impossible. And, and, like I said, Chubb, who is... That is not Chubb. That is Mixon getting mixed in for the first down. Just about, anyways. Probably even worse for the Raiders, who can't stop anything. Only chance is maybe, like, a, a second and 12 start. You get a sack, and even then I wouldn't feel great about your chances of stopping them. But about 130 in the second, 29-yard line. They're looking to throw, which is very smart here. To the out, what in the world is that? Is that being seven foot tall? I suppose these guys woke up this season uh, way taller than they were before, and uh, it's probably throwing them off a little bit. Third inches from the 29 yard line. Gonna throw it again, which is debatable, but it works out. Allen Robinson now with the catch uh, and the first down. Hurrying up to the line, they have all three timeouts. We'll see if they actually use them. It's Madden after all, and EA, so. Probably won't, and that's going to be a perfect throw once again to Allen Robinson. And they will call a timeout. It turns out if you slow sim, you actually get proper timeouts, but you have to actually be in it. If you if you have it on fast and you manually tap it, GG. First and 10 from the 40 inside, go for the possession catch. Who is that? That is Cortland Sutton, the possession man himself. Will Cincy be able to put up even more points on the board, which would make it very hard on the Raiders to come back? About to find out. I mean, they don't look stoppable at this point. They look unstoppable, some would say. Over the middle, uh, Hooper gets it, and this is where you actually hurry up to the line, try to get a throw in there. You also want to risk it, though. Once again, it seems like you could probably just win with this. And is that Deion Jones on the edge? No, they, is it? Yeah, it is. Nice. Sutton gets the first down. Number 14 gets to the number 14. But, of course, they will use it last time out, and I would imagine this is going to be just a field goal. Kind of a lackluster end to a pretty good start. Oh, they're going to throw this. This is crazy. Let's see if they got it in them. Baker takes the running. Yep, that's what I would do as well when I have no timeouts. The half will end 10-0. to Nice. Maybe the NFL will end their exclusive contract with EA so crap like that doesn't happen. Of course, looking at the stat line... Since he is rolling the Raiders, they're 14 yards in the first half for the Raiders. 14! And I don't even know if that like factors into sack or not. I, I don't know. It probably does, but it might not. Let's go to the next quarter because you never know when we want to get in there. But I suppose because of that you know, first half blunder, the Raiders do have a chance still. No chance in the return by Cordero. But honestly, the way the offense is playing, you probably take that back. The first half in the return game has more yards than the freaking offense. Christian McCaffrey, let's see these stats. Started 0 for 10. Now 10 for 0. I don't know what that means. And, of course, Vaughn with the sack fumble is in the zone to start off the second half. Uh, running back and a fullback in the backfield. Watson throws it to the fullback, but, I mean, that's just not an easy thing to catch. Second and 10 now. Under center, Vaughn, is he not in? I don't think Vaughn's in right now. Can't tell. They have a lot of – oh, he is, but he's out of the zone right away. And, of course, they're going to lose yardage because of Von Miller. A loss of two. The Raiders look like trash. Back in the zone because of a tackle for a loss. This guy is freaking flickering more than the lights last week because of the wind. And Watson going to take it to McCaffrey, who is... I mean, that just looks like a white man move. Like, that was the slowest spin in the world from such an elusive back. What are the Raiders doing? Why? Why wouldn't you? I don't know, dude. Who cares? Second and eight. And they're just diamond. I mean, this maybe this is why. Maybe they they feel this is what happened, which I, I mean, I don't know if I would say so, but maybe. I mean, both teams have their vulnerabilities against each other. But, of course, right now, uh, this looks like a slaughter show. Slaughterhouse. Do, do they have slaughter shows? Once again, maybe when the Jets are playing. Uh, to the 46-yard line, Nick Chubb. Six-yard gain. Honestly, if you're just them, just run it up the middle. Yeah, just keep uh, making adjustments. Like, just focus on what you're doing. Your adjustments are doing nothing. Look, you're lucky there was a hold. Otherwise, it would have been another first down. Holding the team that's smoking the other one. Ten-yard penalty. Doesn't even matter. 
Oh, they actually did different adjustments. Nice. Before, they were in sync for everything because it needs to be said twice. That's how bad they are. And a drop wide open by Allen Robinson. It's kind of been one of those years for him where he just doesn't seem like he's all in it for the long haul. Oh, look at those adjustments. Wow. These guys are in sync. Holy crap. These guys are freaking insane. Third and 10. Bringing the blitz. Not getting there. And it's going to be another first down to the running back and then more. I was about to say, nobody in sight to the nine. I mean, the offense can't even get more yards in the whole game than the Bengals have basically any play at all this entire game. And uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a chance. Deion Jones with the pick in the red zone. Trying to chase him. Mayfield can't do it. And a pick six has electrified this stadium. And that dance is some Jackson Mahomes level dance. Thing. I mean, way to ruin it. Like, just way to ruin it. You guys shouldn't be dancing. You should be practicing. Could you have a mid-game like game full time? I, mean, I was about to say mid-life crisis. But can you have a mid-game full practice for your offense? Because they we need it. This Raiders team needs it. I keep saying we because like, you know, I got a Raiders fan. You know, I'm just saying. But, of course, huge play. Literally just run it. If you're Cincinnati, literally just run it. And instead, they didn't. And just like that, it's anyone's game. The Raiders, who have no offense, are only down by three. Or nine, is it? Six? Some math. Oh, that's a great play by Mixon because... What? I mean, at this point, like, what do you even do? Like, clearly the Bengals are just cheating. They got actual moon shoes. Literal moon shoes. How do you how do you beat low gravity? You can't. You literally can't. Unless you're one of the kickers or punters on either team. Then you have a chance. Second and three, and it doesn't matter. It's going to be the start of the fourth. The Raiders, I mean, they had an opportunity. They kind of blew it. Behind, I mean, they could have lost. I mean, he could have lost like four or five there, and instead he gained seven. Like, that is a huge yardage swing. Another chance. They make the play. Time to wake up. What actually happens if they hike it while he's doing that? Like, did, did this, the defense die? Over the middle is kind of open. And denied. The Raiders are going to have a chance. Fourth and two. Deion Jones again. All right. Can the offense just do anything really just like anything at all like positive play literally just like it says on the side there watson quick throw to mccaffrey and once again mccaffrey stops spinning you you're not that guy apparently second and two from the 33 yard line just hand it off to him you get a first down automatically that's how it works that looked like a false start and it will be to mccaffrey and he gets a lot of yards to the 46 i'm enjoying myself Hopefully you guys are as well. And if you are, maybe leave a like and subscribe. If you've already done that, don't worry about it. You're you're all right in my book. First and 10 from the 46-yard line. You know what? Even if you don't do those things, you're all right in my book. A little less all right, but it's fine. Edges are kind of collapsing. He gets the ball off. Perfect throw to Brandon Cooks down to the 35-yard line. And what do the Raiders want to do with this? Do they want to score quickly? Do they want to... Make this the last drive and potentially go to overtime. What what's the game plan here? You know, like what do you what do you want to do? I feel like you want to waste the clock, but how much do you want to play it safely? And that just seemed irrelevant. Like that was so close of a throw that it was basically like a track meet. It was basically like a baton pass. Like it's it felt weird. Second and six from the 18 yard line now. Watson to the outside. McCaffrey out of bounds to the seven. There is no way. Is probably going to be a run. They have all the time in the world. It just comes down to can you get enough for the score? And McCaffrey with a nice juke move, abandoning the spin. Very good move, sir. Good decision. Second goal from the three. A little bit of trouble, and there goes Von Miller again with another clutch perfectly timed sack. Third and goal from the 11. Might dump it off to McCaffrey. He will, and McCaffrey will be very short. And, of course, the Raiders will go for the game-tying field goal because who doesn't need more of this battle? But here we go. A chance to see overtime. The ball is snapped. The kick is up. The kick is good, as you would expect. And we get overtime. Who else would have expected it? Who would have expected this? And this will be headed to overtime. 
First half, all Bengals. Second half, well, kind of all Bengals again, but they threw a pick six, and it opened up the game for the Raiders, and now we see ourselves in overtime. And the Raiders win the toss. I mean, I would assume they're going to choose the receive, right? There you go. The Raiders have a legitimate chance to win this all. And what is that? Co oh, the coin's gone. 321 yards for the Bengals, 90 for the Raiders. And they're going to start off with a run. Nice move. Gets about seven on the play. Really good run there by McCaffrey. He gets met in the backfield immediately. Second and three now, you got the bunch wide receivers, which actually has kind of worked for this team. Not that anything has really worked. And it's going to be a run. McCaffrey is not feeling it today. That is a terrible decision. Cut it inside. Maybe you get the first. You at least get a couple of yards. Try to do too much. And now it's a third and three. Bunch again. And they're going to run it again. A lot of faith in McCaffrey there. And it worked out. And just like that, the two-minute warning has already been reached. And we're not even at the midfield point. That's really where the whole uh, realism kind of goes away is that overtime. McCaffrey, quick throw to the outside. Both these quarterbacks are, I mean, they're kind of like... They're kind of like the slang for a cat. You know you know what someone might call a cat? That they put a word in front of a cat? Uh-oh. Is he going to... He's going to do it! And it's dropped. I thought it was caught. You see that play action wind up like that? You're thinking that's, that's a home run ball. Really good coverage on Cook there. And, of course, crazy that he took the chance. I, he must have heard my insults. Third and four, McCaff oh, no McCaffrey savior this time as Vaughn comes up with a sack. It was probably going to be Deion Jones for the player of the game, but now you probably have to give it to Vaughn, right? I mean, second and ten for the 21. Laid off the line as Odell speaking of over the middle. That's a good throw, but, I mean, it really begs the question of why the hell did you run it? And the clock is running. They're getting down there, though. They can get, like, 20-some yards here. Baker. That's probably good that it wasn't caught because it's going to be short. <laughs> oh, my God. Evan McPherson. Look at the pitcher. No way he gets through a checkpoint with his freaking ID. No chance. Second, don't tell me they're going to run this ball. Why? Well, I guess I can see why. Close, no cigar for this field goal. They're going to call the timeout. Can they do it? You can see where the line to gain is for a chance at the field goal. They're going to have to hurry up, though. And they're going to run it again, which I don't understand. I'm questioning the decision-making here. He gets the ball off, though. I love this game. Uh, the game that we play on this channel is one of the greatest games ever made. It is one of the greatest games ever freaking made, okay? What can I tell you? I just, what more do you want, you know? The last play of the game from the 44-yard line, why Why would you want it other than a check down? Why would you? Do you even understand how dumb you look thinking throw the ball to the end zone? Only a moron would do that. Like, that's just stupid. You check it down and you take the tie. Because if you throw the ball in the end zone and the ball gets knocked down or picked or whatever, that isn't a tie. That is a coward's way out. Of course, looking at the stat line, um, yeah, I mean, the Bengals did not deserve to lose, but they did it to themselves. They threw a pick in the red zone and it was taken down for a touchdown. Von Miller with the player of the game, in my opinion. Very close, though. Deion Jones was very good, but Vaughn with those sacks in the perfect timing, it was just too much. You, you just, what can you say? And even though it doesn't matter, we are going to finish this video out with the results of the playoffs. I guess we'll take a quick look at the stats and whatnot, but we'll take a look and see what happens at the end of the season. Uh, no losses for the Bengals. Of course, I switch over to them. I needed a, a picture of one of those. Sexy special teamers, of course. Uh, stats and awards. It is kind of clutch, though, that like the only loss that this team took was against the other team a part of this video, which is, I mean, pretty pretty crazy. I mean, this, this team is very, very good, but it's not like otherworldly good where I expected us to win every single game. Obviously, the Raiders didn't do that, um, but 
Watson, you know, numbers are okay. McCaffrey ended up still being the backup outside of that game, which, I mean, I don't even actually hate. Him as a backup, you know, kind of in the receiving game mainly is it's probably even more deadly, right? Because Jacobs is just kind of the power back. Just let him run up the middle, hurt the, uh, hurt the defense, and then McCaffrey just runs past everyone. Uh, let's take a look at the yearly awards. Take a look at how the Raiders finished, and then... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Any award wins at all? Uh, oh, yeah, joke I tried to get, and then I forgot he was injured, and I was like, I forgot that you didn't get him. Uh, Chubb, best running back. Kareem Jackson, best DB. Everything else is... Oh, yeah, Young Hoku, the best kicker. <laughs> Relax, one sec. I forgot. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, standings real quick. Raiders got to be very high up there as well, and they did lose a bunch. They lost three games, 13-3, and three, rather. But now that we're the Bengals... Very likely that this team will not go any further now because of it. Let's take a look at who they play. The Chiefs. I don't know if the Raiders are still in it. We'll find out, I suppose. And they, well, whether they are or not doesn't matter because the Chiefs take out the Bengals. And the Super Bowl is between the Raiders and the Niners. One of these teams has made it all the way. Can they do it all? They can. So it appears. And it looks like they did. They won the Super Bowl. So one of the Halloween teams wins. That's that's all that matters. 35 to 31. Uh, and then they won 31 to 13. Uh, the Chiefs obviously won 35 to 21. 31 to 24 over the Chiefs, which is impressive. And then 24 to 18 over the Niners. That's that's pretty fun, right? Overtime and then a tie for that. It's you know, a little iffy, but overall. I had a fun time. I had a blast. Hopefully you guys did as well. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. We'll be back with another video tomorrow. Should be Dolphins franchise. Tuesday will be Speed Rebuild with Raiders. But that Raiders will be recorded on Monday night live on Twitch.tv slash care at about 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Anyways, like I said, hopefully you enjoy your day. Whether you care about Halloween at all. Whether you, you know, maybe you're young enough to trick or treat. Maybe you're, you know, you're old enough to trick or treat. Who gives a damn, I suppose? Uh, whatever you do on this day, maybe it's nothing. Just football, whatever. Hope you guys enjoy that day. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!